Hey there, welcome to how to become a six-figure coach with all of the training you'll ever need to be a world-class coach. All that we ask is that you subscribe to the channel and enjoy your video. Welcome back, Chase Jordan here. Evidence-based success elements. The one thing I can tell you that I wish I could do is download some of the best success elements of my most successful students. And most of these elements have actually been really, really, uh, really been helpful in my own life. But what I'm about to share with you today are our most successful students, consultants, coaches, recruiters, and a few others that we've helped along the way. They have a few things. Evidence-based means, you know, we've seen proof that when we do these things, great things happen to those people, right? So if we want to be successful, we want to fist bump that fist bump of success, we have to look at a, f a few things. So the first thing we have to really acknowledge is to take full responsibility. The most successful students, and by the way, I am not saying that you don't have all of these or some of these and you're, you're a super talented person. I'm sure you are. But I always like in every program to say, look, here are the behaviors and the mindsets, right? And the spirit of success, of the most successful we've ever seen. And here's what they do. So they take full responsibility for their transformation. You will go through a transformation to become who you want to become with Pro Coach. You are, whether you are a superb person today, you're going to be even more superb down the road. If you are a great person, you're going to become a superb person person in every way possible with Pro Coach. We're going to be doing a lot of work internally so that you could become that role model that clients will want to deal with. Because we never talk about this. This is something I rarely heard of up front was you have to be that role model. You know, if you go, it's not just saying, well, if you want to go get a health coach and the person weighs 400 pounds, it's not going to work out, right? If you like, if you go see a 300-pound cardiologist and they're out there, some of them can't help it, well, you're, you're probably scratching your head like, why am I do, what am I doing here? Are you even qualified? You're 500 pounds and that's not healthy and you're talking to me about eating healthy. So the transformation has to occur from the inside out so that when a client looks at you, it's not about being pretty or handsome or built or any of that. None of that matters. What does matter though, is that you are congruent with what you are offering and that you are in many ways the example, right? Somebody looks at me and I'm a pro coach certified. I'm a master coach. I've coached 240,000 plus people. Well, I try to be the role model but in many ways, I have been the role model for decades because of the success that I've seen in my own life, the folks I've been able to help. So you get that, right? But it took so many levels of transformations, almost like stacked, transformed to this, from this go to that, from that go to this. And I believe that I will be transforming and going through levels of growth for the rest of my life including the day that I pass. I mean, that's how I see it, okay? So take full responsibility for your transformation and who you want to become, even if you're fantastic today. So you have to take full responsibility for your business as well. Get that LLC, get the .com, open the account, right? Build the website, go through Pro Coach. Every video has a reason. Every video has gold in it. You got to make sure we take the notes, take action. So take full responsibility for your life. This is something, if you want to be a coach, you don't have to walk on water, as they say. You don't have to be perfect. It's not about being perfect. My shirt's probably not perfect now. Somebody said, hey, do you wear the same shirt every day? No, no, I have 10 of these shirts that I rotate, right? Because <laughs> I'm trying to be in a pro coach uniform here for you so I can look branded and professional. Try to be that role model, but take full responsibility for your life. We're going to talk about diet, mindsets, physical uh, stamina and strength, mental strength, spiritual strength. We're going to talk about a lot of things, and you're going to have to take full responsibility. It's not all that hard, by the way. You just make a decision. You turn that switch, and you say, today I will take accountability. I will take those steps towards my transformation, little by little, little by little. 
and I'll get there, okay? Number two, crystal clear why. You know, you can read books on this and Simon Sinek made this popular, but it was way popular way before Simon. I'm, I think it was, I'm Simon's age. I knew about the why when I couldn't even speak English, right? As you know, English is my second language. So crystal clear, I write out your reason for coaching. Why do you even want to do this? I know why I want to do it. I love to see people grow. I love taking a group of misfits. I used to go into the corporate world and take, I used to be called on. Say, can you help these 10 leaders? We're struggling with them. And I, I used to love to take them from this level to that level. And they go, how did you do that? And of course, we have our ways. And we're going to teach you most of those ways in this course. But that was my reason. I love to see the outcome, the success. I love to help people. I love to hold a vision and help support and develop a human being so that they can help themselves get to that level. It's unbelievable. So go back to your why daily. You you have no idea how people journal more than you think. They write down their goals, their why in the morning, at night. They look at them. It's on their phone, and this is what the most successful students do. I've seen them. I've interrogated them. I've interviewed them, and it's also what I do in my own life. So write down your goals in the a.m. and the p.m., or at least think about them. Write down your goal, financial goal, spiritual goal, physical goals, mental goals. How many clients do you want? How do you want to live your life? All some of that pre-work we began this week. All right. Believe you can. This is, oh boy, self-esteem. If we can download self-esteem into people, I wish we can do it to the entire planet because the entire planet would do so much better, right? Everybody would do so much better. But believe you can. Build your self-esteem daily. So how does one build self-esteem? We're going to work on this in another video, but in brief, become better at what you want to become daily and you will build the self-esteem just like a bicep has to get big. You have to first pick up that dumbbell and you have to do the lift and then do the lift and then do the lift. And then you look at your arm and it's big and it's swollen, filled with blood. Then it shrinks and you look at it the next morning and you go, darn it, I have not grown. But when you pick those weights back up and you know the story and how that ends, look at yourself in the next 30, 60, 90 days. Look at yourself in the next year. And that self-esteem will have literally blown up. So every day, work on getting better. Work on telling yourself that you can. It's not all just positive self-talk, but some of it is. People that, you know, say, oh, that's all just positive thinking stuff. Positive thinking works. Wake up every day and work on your competencies. Make sure in your mind you start saying, I can, I will I'm smart enough. It's not about everybody loving you. It's about the belief inside. But it has to be reinforced every single day. We're going to work a lot more on self-esteem in a little bit. So review past successes. This is a great tactic. When you're feeling blue, you're feeling like, oh, I'm just not worth it. I'm not worthy. I didn't get the client I wanted today. It's just a, it's just a moment in time. It's not your entire life. Look at what you did. When was the last client you had? Bam, that's a success. What about the other one? Bam, you graduated from pro coach. Bam, what else did you do? Graduated from high school. Help the neighbor, fix the lawnmower, whatever it is. Start really going, okay, okay, okay. I'm just having one bad moment day week. This isn't my whole life, all right? So we gotta make sure that's happening. And then set the intentions and take action. Wake up every day saying, look, man, woman, I got, I got this. I got the tools. I got the people. If you don't have the tools or the people, go get them. Who's going to help me? What tools do I need? What books do I need to read? What seminar? Do I need to go buy pro coach? (laughs) What do I need? Go get those things and begin to work, work towards items that'll make you feel better and stronger and clean. You know, you need a haircut, go get one. (laughs) You need to shave, shave. You need to go get a new outfit, go get one. You know, some of that's superficial, but if it makes you feel better, it'll raise your self-esteem. You are worth it. I am here to tell you that you are beautiful, you are amazing, and you are absolutely worth it. Time for you to tell yourself that even more, okay? So walk into it. Pro coach, you want to become a professional coach? There's, There's a little bit to learn. It's all here for you. You have the resource. But what the most successful students do is when they get a little little overwhelmed, a little freaked out, they take that step into it. 
They step into it. They step forward into it no matter what. Slowly and securely walk into your next steps. Courage is feeling the fear but moving anyways. Did you know that? If you didn't, here's a reminder. Shoshin, the beginner's mind. Man, courage is I'm afraid, but I am going to step forward. So many times in my life, I was, I was terrified. Low self-esteem in that moment. And I still took a f- step forward. And most of our successful students say that. They go, you know, getting an LLC might have been scary. Getting that first client on the phone was hard. But I walked through it. I stepped it. I stepped into it and walked through it. And you will adapt. You know that your first call might be scary, but your second will be less. And the third will be less. And by the time you've done 30 calls and have 10 clients, you'll feel like, oh, I get a, a little bit of butterflies, but it's not that bad. And you will change. You will change. We adapt to everything. You know, when I was a kid in Montreal, Canada, we used to play like a negative 30, which is ridiculously cold. And we used to make snowmen. And first you get out there and you, ugh, it's, it's definitely a little cold, even for a kid. But within 10 minutes, we had adapted to the cold. It's unbelievable. And then I moved from that cold to, to the, the super south in, in, in southwest Florida. And I thought I was going to die of heat. I would, I would just, it was just disgusting. I would sweat like a madman. I would have to change my shirt over and over. And you know what? After just a few months, I was getting used to it. I, I, was, I was adapting. And that's how the human is made. And we're going to talk about that more and more. And you will change and it's okay. So never stop improving. The law of the first percent. The law of the first percent says this. Improve every day by 1%. You want to get better at communicating? Improve by 1%. Take an action. Practice a tactic. Practice a a, a technique once a day, every day, never stopping. And you see what happens. In 70 days, you'll be twice as good. Improve by 1% a day, and in 70 days, you'll be twice as good. It's the, uh, it's the wonders of compounding, okay? When you compound one, so you're, you've improved by 1%, so then you're better by one. Then the next day, you improve by one, but you've increased even from there. And as it stacks, what happens is better, better, and with every day, it, it just grows and blows up. So could you imagine if you just did one thing, 1% a day, better? got better at calls, developed your website, got better at actual coaching, using the tools, the methodology we're going to share with you, what would happen then? Improve by 1% daily. Call me back in three years when you're an extremely successful professional coach. Okay, do that. Can you do that for me? This is what our best students know, understand, and live by. So get a coach. I am not afraid to say, because it is a strength to get a coach, to, to acquire a coach used to be, oh, you're failing, you're not smart, you have issues. No, no, no. Nowadays, we know, and it's been like this for a long time now, it is a strength to ask for help. To raise your hand and ask for help is an absolute sign of strength, okay? So go get a coach. So you have us now, but once you're done with us and, you know, you're you're there and you, you know the techniques and the methods and you're doing really well, go get another coach. Absolutely. Where Where do you want to improve? Go pay. Take money out of your pocket. You're asking people to do that for you. You go ahead and do that. Okay? It doesn't mean you spend all your money, but it does mean that you will invest in yourself forever. Okay? So to speed up the process of anything you want to learn, you get a coach. You got pro coach because you didn't want to go on YouTube. You didn't want to, 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 to take four years to learn everything you need. Right? We're condensing 24 years, 25 years of experience here. So you, wanted, uh, you get a coach to see a greater vision. A coach has the ability to see a vision greater than your own. And that's what you're going to do for clients, but you need somebody doing it for you. All right. So I'm not saying go broke on a coach at first, but you can get out there and get yourself a coach. Okay. So you need to be challenged. Coaches challenge in a very healthy way. Okay. To be held accountable. Is there anything more coach than holding someone accountable? I will hold you accountable, right? And responsible. And they're two different things. And we're going to review what those means. So two brains are better than one. So when you have a great coach and you are a great coach and you're working towards something else, whether it's your marketing or whatever it is, maybe it's just your personal life, or you want to get into a specialized coaching environment, like you want to go coach executives. Well, we're going to teach you how to do that, but you want to go deeper into a different thing. Two brains are better than one, I'm telling you. So don't bounce around. This is key. 
this is where, oh boy, one, one of our, I don't want to say pet peeve, but one of the, the issues that we see in our students is that they'll bounce around. Oh, I'm going to be a life coach. Oh, I'm going to go help executives. Oh, I'm, I'm going to help nonprofits. Oh, I'm going in, to, in a matter of two weeks, <laughs> they have bounced and they say, you know, I'm not really successful. <laughs> I go, well, you didn't choose somebody you were going to help. You didn't specialize in what you were going to do with that person once you had them. And darn it, you are just bouncing around. So you can't do that. So pick a, a market, a niche, a, pick something, pick, pick a person or an organization you're going to help. Build the processes you're going to use to help them. And then go all in. Take it slow at first. Choose the right thing correctly so you don't have to bounce around. But the bottom line is, pick a lane slowly and then go fast. So focus on your core competencies. Look, if it's going to take you, look, you, if you're not a medical doctor and you're 50 years old, I would not tell you to go become a medical doctor. I would tell you what are what are the gifts and the competencies you already have and how do we go build a coaching program around that? See what I'm saying? You focus on your core competencies. Uh, don't focus on your weakness ever, okay? So if you're like, well, I want to do this, but you have zero in common, you know nothing about that niche, you've never helped them, you've never done it yourself, you've never helped anybody, you've... Don't start there, okay? Eventually, if you want to dive into something else and become an expert in a different niche, that's fine. If you have no niche now and you're starting from scratch, that's fine. But pick one and go all in, all right? As long as it's a profitable niche, you've done the homework, you did that little Google trick I taught you, and there's definitely a market, well, go ahead and do that, all right? So use a scorecard. The most successful organizations have great scorecards, just like in school. There's a there's a report card at the end of every trimester, semester, whatever. Same thing occurs with a coach, right? My most successful students build a scorecard. And I, we didn't build one because you got to build your own. What does your scorecard mean? Well, key performance indicators have to be identified. KPIs, key performance indicators. So what that means is, what are the key things you're going to do every day? So as a coach, I'm going to do some marketing every day. Call it one hour. So I know that if I do marketing for an hour every day, it will lead to more clients. I will get into pro coach. I will do the skills labs and the weekly coaching calls with Chase so that I can do X, Y, and Z. And I would build that into a scorecard. And at the end of the week, I would say, did I do the things that the KPIs, did I hit them? Because I know if I do all these KPIs, these key performance indicators, I will have clients and make the money I want and be fulfilled and have some free time. And I'll become a professional coach with a big smile on my face. But without a scorecard, you don't know what's real. You don't know what went wrong. You don't know what went right. You can't pivot. You can't adjust. So you need to identify, what are you going to do daily for your success? Are you actually doing it? What resources, people, or things that you'll need to be successful? Go gather them, but keep track. Keep a journal. Open a spreadsheet. Do it your way, but get yourself a scorecard. And then set target. I will do four hours of marketing per week. I will coach 10 clients per month. I will do deeper dives into the pro coach uh, coach's paradise to really learn the methods and, and really master the tools that will make me the best coach I can be. All right, set those targets. So measure movement daily. We talked about that. And then have an accountability partner. You can use us. We do those group texts and email and whatnot. That's a very important piece of accountability. But get yourself another friend that's a coach or in a completely different business. And then run this run this little this little um, scorecard exercise with them. Say, hey, do you track it? Keep track? No, I should probably keep track. What do you do? Well, here's what I do. Here's what you should do. And then you get together on a call and you hold each other accountable and say, hey, you said you were going to do three hours of marketing. How'd that go? Well, I didn't quite get done. Okay, well, why didn't you get done? And you have a friendly dialogue, knowing that the next week you're going to be accountable to reporting on that stuff, which will make you more responsible to complete it because you know you have to account for it. And it's a big deal. The scorecard's a big deal. And the accountability partner is cool. All right, so on the flip side here, rest often. The world's most successful students are those who rest they plan to rest. There is a part of the day where they rest. And you're going to go through Master Producer, our productivity training for, for anyone, really. <clears throat> but you're going to talk a lot about 
about rest, but set a daily time to rest and think about your goals. You know, this re-energizes me like no other. When I think about the future and where I want to go and what I want to do, oh, there's really nothing like it. And, and you should do the same. So set a time to do what you want to do. I know you might have three kids. I know you might have a big to-do list at work. You're transitioning from full-time work into coaching, things like this. I get it, but set some time. I don't care if it's at eight at night or six in the morning, set some time. So rest to muffle the inner critic. We all have it, the inner critic, that voice that comes out and says, who are you to do this? And who are you to do that? And you'll never do, you know, be able, and uh, we've all heard it. Many times it's because we're tired. We're just too darn tired. And we'll dig, we'll, we're going to dig much deeper into this very, very soon. But I wanted you to, to just realize that some of our best students, they, they live by this. Find that rest. So make mistakes. Okay, make them. It's okay. Journal and grow from them. The big, the big key to success is that we make the mistake. We really look at what happened. Then we break it all down. What was true? What was untrue? Where was I at fault? What can I do differently? What can I do better? And once we've identified reality, we then clearly define what the future would hold. The next time I'm in this scenario, predicament, situation, here's how I'm going to behave. And you really put some thought behind that. Write it down in a journal. Really look at it. That's real growth. So people all the time, they make a mistake, then they kind of think about it. They feel bad. They feel stupid. The next thing you know, they do it again because they haven't gone through the process I just talked about of really evaluating what happened. What could have done, what, what could we have done differently? What could we avoided, added, deleted, continued, what have you? And then what does the right way look like? And really identifying bullet by bullet what that would look like. Sometimes two bullets, sometimes 20 bullets, depends on what you're doing. But then really going, okay, I'm going to absorb this. I'm going to keep it top of mind. Next time this happens, hmm, things are going to be different. I won't make that mistake again. So if you never make mistakes, you're not growing. Somebody that does nothing makes no mistakes. Somebody that's moving at a certain speed in a certain direction will fumble, right? We all catch our foot on something every now and again. We drop that ball. But at the end of it all, If we're not making mistakes, if you tell me, you know, I haven't made a mistake in three months, I'll say you have not tried anything different (laughs) because you will. Use the scientific method, right? Have a hypothesis. Go for it in life. Just go for it. Just say, I'm going to try this idea I just heard about. It's a hypothesis at this point. I think this will work. Then you try it and you fail or you win or you learn or it does. something happens. But you have to take that hypothesis and go prove it. If you can't prove it, come back to the desk, switch it around. What am I going to do? What am I going to try? What do I need? Then you do it again and try to prove it again until it works. Then you iterate. You make it better. 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 as needed. And eventually you get to success. And that's what it's all about. That's what the winners do. They don't stop. They keep iterating, right? Learn by doing. We only truly learn as human beings. We're going to get into this in a little bit. By doing. If you read a book, I can tell you there's proof that you have not necessarily learned what you just read. But if you read about a technique, as an example, and you go out and you do the technique, and you fumble and you cut your finger or you whatever happens, right? You're out there in the world, you're doing that thing, and you're learning it, and you're struggling, You're now more successful. Now it's getting better. It's getting easier. And now you can do it. Bam. Now you've learned it, right? That's what it's about. You can read about reading a book, about uh, writing a book. And then you can read about writing a book, take the actions to write a book, mess a bunch of stuff up, fix a bunch of stuff back up, finish your book, sell your book, let the world know about your book. Now you've learned. But just reading about writing a book, you haven't learned how to write the book. See what I mean? This is a fact. This is not just my opinion. This is empirical stuff. All right. So here's the deal. Bottom line, I hope you've taken notes. I hope you've reviewed every point like a a beginner, like a sponge. And realize, though, that everything we can talk about today is one thing that in my life personally, so my personal opinion alone, 
I believe that if somebody can do something that I want to do, become a real estate agent, become one of the best coaches in the world. If somebody did it, I can do it. If someone else has done it, I can do it. And I hope you have that mentality. I want you to have that mentality. If you don't have it now, believe this. If you want a million dollars in your life, you can go get that. Somebody else has done it. Let's go learn how to do that. What's that map look like? What road did they take to get there? Find out what the road is. Take the steps they took. Do the work. Fall. Get back up. And you will get there. You'll get to the million dollars. I was there once. I wanted a million dollars in the bank. And then we got there. And then I wanted this and I wanted that. And we did it and we did it just because I went. Just like you want to be a professional coach, you bought Pro Coach. You now have the map with you. Just follow the steps and you will also be a highly successful coach. It's just the way the world works. If one could do it, you can do it. And I believe in you. I believe in you like nobody's believed in you before. Trust me. We're going to connect one day live. I'm going to say, you know what? I told you I believed in you and look how successful you are. So evidence-based success elements. Live through these elements. Add some, subtract some. I don't care. But I always feel that I should give you the map and the mind of the most successful people we have in our courses. Those who go out and really achieve. This is how they operate. This is how they function. Again, if you need any help, if you need any support, text us now. I'm Chase Jordan, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.